Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infra Space, the game that takes way too long to load now because I've created far too many roads. Oh wow, it really, it really does take a long time. Because I've built designs like this and this, as well as this and this monstrosity, before creating this and then getting the idea to turn around and build <laughs> this. <laughs> What? Why did I do this, Matt? Now, but first, back to the loading screen, because down in this community tab, I noticed this top one. Will we ever get an integrated roundabout builder, or at least fix some mechanics so you can make a few curved roads between a shaped interchange without ending up with this monstrosity? So I clicked on that, and look at their sorry state of a roundabout that they created. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that happened to you. But someone down here, they replied with how to make perfect circles, which got me thinking, can we use that to improve our colony? But first, back to the truck nado, because I do actually want to fix this. You can see we've currently got red trucks on here, but we don't anymore. If you look at the bottom, it's empty. The bottom of the truck nado is just a road nado. That is because under here somewhere, I created a shortcut off this road that literally bypasses the truck nado uh, because all the red things are taking too long to get anywhere and you can see now with the shortcut in all our habitats they are upgrading we've got skyscrapers for days however as we learned previously skyscrapers do attract the g wagon g wagons 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 there's, there's, there's a lot of g wagons and now as my time as a civil engineer i have learned sometimes building a longer road is better because you don't get standstill traffic and no one wants to be in standstill traffic so what i thought we could do was come under here we can delete that and we can well i'm not going to delete that yet i'm going to wait until all those red trucks have got off the truck nado so you can see up here there's, there's still a few making their way around but if we grab a super fast road and we come off this we go around here over the top of that over this road as well then we can connect into this road which should mean if we delete that because we don't want them going that way and then delete this yep they have no choice now but to use the truck nado look they're starting from the bottom and they're slowly gonna work their way all the way to the top <laughs> oh, there's, so, there's literally so many of them. But yes, my thinking here is as they slowly work their way around there, they're actually going to like, they're going to take their time, meaning we shouldn't get a massive influx of G-Wagons, which just causes terrible traffic carnage and then backs up for miles. So I'm hoping this should actually help the city and therefore we turn this from a product of architecture actually into a product of engineering. That's what engineers do best. They make architecture work so we'll leave them doing that and in the meantime we're gonna go try and sort out everything else the so first off single house in here why why don't you have water your neighbors have water oh no that neighbor doesn't have water why don't you guys have why don't you guys have water hang on let me if i click this button down here which isn't a flame i think it's actually a water drop we can click on pipes and then we can see that he is connected to the water pipe network but those two aren't actually so if i move that more into the road so yep she now has water and she's very pleased about it as did these two guys up here who apparently are twin brothers all right how are the g-wagons getting on they're they're doing all right <laughs> they're, they're actually taking ages aren't they i'd say what i really need to do i actually need to upgrade this road to the faster roads so the trouble is i built it with this type of road a concrete road which takes six bits of concrete if i want to make the road faster this is the super highway it costs 80 and 16 concrete and steel respectively which is an insane amount like i don't doubt for one second it's going to be faster but the question is is it actually worth it i mean it probably will be because bottom left that's how many jobs we have so that's how many people we need in our colony basically to the left in red that's our population we could do with these guys hurrying up i will not lie but saying that if we come down here you can see the the very the very first g-wagons before i connected them to the truck nado they're still stuck in traffic i tell you what i need to i think i need to change the priority on this so if i click give way i think i'd rather make those guys give way and make that the priority coming out of there because at least that's making this traffic go down a bit now oh look and there's an original truck nado there i 
I forgot about that one. All right, I literally, I might go back to traffic lights. Now, one of the main troubles we've got here, can you see people coming down these roads? They're not getting into the lane until the last second. So I think these are phase two. So yeah, we've given them five seconds and they just all clog up because they all decide they want to go right suddenly. But then the ones that want to go right when, when they're allowed to, when it's green, they're trying to go straight ahead still. Yeah, traffic lights, I hate to say it, but they're useless in this game. And next up, I feel like no cars are like using this road. If you look back here, they're all sort of, they're turning off there. I know you can't really see because there's, <laughs> there's like bridge pillars everywhere. Yeah, but that's because this road is very, very slow. So I think I might upgrade that and that might take people along there. So if we replace that with a faster one and then we just need the two by twos. So that that all right and then all of our straight through roads which they don't have any buildings coming off so we can use these because if you look they do have barriers on the side so you can't have entrances to buildings like we got there but uh, now i think there's a lot more traffic choosing to use this just because they're faster roads so yeah i reckon we fix that uh, and with our traffic better you can see most of these are the level six the luxury residential high rise and if we come back to our spaceports we can see yes the average habitat level is 5.6 which means our immigration rate is high which means the truck nado is doing its thing they're literally they're only halfway to the top okay i might literally have to speed the game up a bit <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just found out in here, world settings, we've got all of this stuff. So you can actually make cars ignore traffic and you can make them make round trips. So they don't make round trips currently, which I've always thought was a bit weird. Like, let's take this guy. This guy produces sand in his massive mine. He's very careful of the electrical pole above his head. But once he's made sand, his truck comes up. What the hell? <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> Anyway, his truck comes out and then it comes along this road and in to here, the concrete factory. Now, what I've always found weird is as the trucks go in there, they don't come back out again. But I'm guessing if we make cars make round trips, we could make them do that. Now, I'm not going to do that because that will completely cock up my city. And to be fair, it's it's a bit cocked already. But what we are going to do, we're going to check the research development, see how we're getting on. Because, yeah, we're still researching some other stuff. I'm just going to select things to research in order once we complete it. I'm going to do everything. Everything that takes the blue, green, and yellow. So we'll get up to there, the red science. Because once we unlock red science, that will allow us to create the proper end game stuff. Like the fast neuron reactor, the lightning rails, which are like super high speed railways. And adamantine mining, which I imagine we'll probably need that material to build these three things. Don't know. But yeah, if we come over to our research area, you can see the biggest problem with research at the moment. There's no workers in the building. I can click on like any of these. They're pretty much all empty. Um, people haven't gone on strike. We're just waiting for them to arrive. So what I might do, I might upgrade this to super highway. I don't know how much this I'm going to be able to do. But if we start from down here, which is the exit, at least that should affect all the people currently on the truck nado. So 14,000 concrete, 8,000 steel. How far will that get us oh man this is this is gonna take a while <laughs> oh dear man well look we got our first people getting onto a bit of super highway look how much faster they are Whoa. <laughs> unfortunately i haven't got very far right? oh that is so much quicker though this is actually worth doing i've just got to be careful not to replace the bits of road that they're driving on because otherwise they will be vaporized you can see the higher roads compared to the low ones they are so much quicker so much quicker and then we are out of concrete. Damn it. So that's how far we got with hours and hours of concrete saved up. <laughs> Still, bottom left, number of workers is increasing now, which means more G-Wagons are being attracted. And they start off at the bottom and then have patches of fastness until they finally make it to the bottom where they enter our city. And look, there's no traffic jams here anymore. So I think the system works. And clicking on all of these high-rise buildings, all the demand is pretty much met and i might be wrong but i think the demand for these is actually set by the habitat level not the number of inhabitants in the habitat so hopefully as more people move into our colony i don't think that will upset the balance because this place is a very carefully balanced place <laughs> Our food production is perfect, entering the city in very efficient fashion. Likewise, the amount of electricity we produce is very carefully balanced to ensure maximum efficiency. But we do have some issues over here. So these are electronics factories. They turn iron ore and copper ore into electronics. We can see we're a bit short on the copper ore. None are being delivered. So if we follow this upstream, we can go along here and here are the copper ore mines. So if we click on these, they're only working 
working at 38% efficiency. That's because there's only three out of eight workers in there. So what I'm hoping is as this number increases the population, all the jobs like that should fill up and we should still be balanced, I hope. Right, so it's been a few hours. I finally turned most of this into super highway. <laughs> Oh, it took so long and my game crashed once. You can see though, we've just got this little patch up here to do and then we're done. However, we've got to the point where look, our housing number is the same as our population number. We're not attracting any more people, but we need at least 200 and something more people because we've got excess jobs. So that means we need some more houses. And what I was thinking is perhaps we need like a new location. So over here where we've got all of these wind turbines, I was thinking in the middle, perhaps we could lose most of these because we've now unlocked solar technology. We know that we're making methane over here, which means we can use that to produce electricity as well. And of course, we've also got nuclear technology we can take advantage of. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come and delete a load of these. So with those deleted, we can see our power production is lower than the consumption, which means we we need to put some more power back in. Now at the moment, the only place we're mining uranium is up here. So I'll probably just follow this road down. I'm along this way. I'll, yeah, I think over here will be fine. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. These are these are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> All right, perhaps I will put these over here then. And then what we want to do is we want to take this motorway arm up to here. And because each piece of super highway costs as much concrete as I've got, we are going to do this in one of the slowest roads we've got to start with and that will head off that way and our junction can come off here and connect those together and then hopefully if we head all the way up here yes uranium is now leaving this mine and if we click on the arrow it shows us where it's going going all the way to our nuclear power plant fantastic uh, what isn't fantastic though everyone's got no oxygen pause right what's going on <laughs> How, how have I cocked this up? Apparently we're making enough oxygen, but we're actually not because if you click on the pipe, we're using what we're creating. So why is that? Are these, they're full of people, but they're only working at 50% efficiency. Pipeline operation. Oh, not enough power. Okay, so we're not making enough power because we've just ruined it. Oh, poo. I think as soon as these are fired up, though, that's 900 megawatts in total. We should be fine. We just need them to arrive. And I think this is them arriving. So as soon as you guys head in there, is this number going to go up? Oh, yes. 2,300. So if these go into the right one, yes. Is that going to go up again? Yes. We are making sufficient nuclear power now, which hopefully means back over here, the oxygen should be sorted. Right, it's not, it's not looking looking great. It's not looking great. Why aren't you working? All right, well, let's turn this into a two-way road and then we'll make some more oxygen down here. This might help. I mean, I can't make it worse, right? Okay, it has gone up a bit. Not as much as I was expecting, but it is what it is. I say it is what it is. Oxygen is like the most essential item. Come on, game. What are we doing? Right, anyway, I think that's probably maybe a little bit sorted. You can see how much quicker the G-Wagons move as well. Like, particularly if we speed up time. That is beautiful. I'm scared of my computer crashing, though. So we're going to slow that down again. And then, finally, we're going to build our new roundabout area. So I sort of know what we need to start. Because we want all of these to upgrade massively. Massively, and we learnt that we need a stadium sort of in the middle. Right, so over here, I've turned the grid on. We are going to grab the stadium and we're going to count how big it is. So it's one, two, three. So it's 11 squares long. So first off, I'm just going to draw an 11 by 11 grid. So if our stadium was a square, that's how big it would be. So next up, we go from the middle. We just go up that way. So we end up with a crosshair sort of thing. And then we draw a diagonal across so it meets like that. And then I think we should be able to click on this road. And then we can move that so it's 90 degrees. Right, and then we've started using the community post to make some sort of roundabouts in the middle we need a roundabout that will dodge that corner though so the way to do it is you do a little stump like that a little stump on the same distance there and then you just do a straight line through you can then click on this and you can drag that till it locks in 90 degrees then do the same on that arm but on this one we're at a point where there's like a middle node so we do need to move that and this might be where the grid has to go off because i think we want to be somewhere between a grid piece so grid, you're off. I mean, alternatively, we could just keep going with the middle ones. All right, there we go. Now they're all nice and parallel. We know that we're sort of in the right place with our outer ones. So I guess we'll just keep going with this. Oh, and look at this. The passenger deck has been fixed on our spaceship.
ship, which means we're going to get 400 people immediately come to the colony. Okay, how how do they arrive? Is it via the G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon? Yeah, I'm literally not sure, actually. Anywho, back to this. Right, so after a little bit of this, honestly, that's probably one of the worst things I've ever built. But still, we mainly did this to get the size right. So we got to delete all the middle, then delete one or two more. Okay, so stadium is in the middle. And then around this, we just want to build some habitats. So if we turn the grid off, these will now snap to the road. So we can get two like that. And then it's just a case of how will these fit in between. Yeah, I think something like that should be good. All right, so then we got those then we'll probably need the schools and parks which are a bit bigger so if we do parks like that schools like that and we should be able to plan out our next road to hopefully do something like that which means we can fit more houses in the back of these All right so then we've got that sort of built we can then just do a new motorway that loops back from here there we go that's neater and then over here we just need a slip road off and then a slip road on and then once we connect the power by building a substation there and then connecting it with power poles over to there we'll then take our oxygen supply along here staying under the road and then straight under all of our new roads it's sort of weird doing it this way around because obviously in real life you'd always do your drainage first all your underground stuff all right so now they all have oxygen pipes next up we're going to give them the water pipes we can just bring that from over here and then just follow the oxygen pipes and then they should all be connected yep you can see some of these they've got oxygen and water and survival food so they'll be leveling up very soon unfortunately we didn't connect our oxygen pipes quick enough in that there's a lot of oxygen traffic on its way but we will be losing all that traffic soon which should be replaced by <gasps> the g wagons g wagons g wagons g wagons g wagons g wagons nice i should probably actually spend some of my concrete and steel making this road faster there yeah, that's much better they are much quicker and look we actually have enough housing for all of our jobs finally the only thing i'm worried about is as more and more resources are needed like home appliances that could make our traffic a bit busy oh and look look the first one's upgraded to a level four habitat uh, they just need good meals and home robots which are currently being delivered so wow we are flying we are absolutely flying all right so here we go it's upgrading in a big way we're at the crystal maze phase in fact some of these are already level five and it seems they already have the resources to become level six yeah, look, we got level sixes already. Whoa. And how many people live in here? Just just one. One bloke with a tash. But that's fine, because we are we are attracting lots of people. Look at all the traffic coming in, all the resources. It's beautiful. Tell you what, since so much traffic is coming in, I might actually upgrade these outer roads. Look at all that tasty new highway space for people to use. All right, so that's good. And even better news, we finally researched everything up to the Red Science Pack factory. Hooray. So our research tree is actually looking pretty decent right now we just we need to work out how to get the red science and then we can research these final four items so red science pack we need three purple mixers eight explosions and two yellow science right and the mixer is an ai control unit and that needs four aluminium and two neural processors. Everything needs neural processors on this damn planet. But yeah, check this out. Nestled within all the carnage is this. And it's actually efficient. Everyone's upgrading. Everyone's happy. All we've got to do is wait for people to move in so we can finally fill up those job positions. And it is happening. I think people are just stuck on this. It doesn't help that I've still got some slow roads in here. Like... <laughs> I like watch here as soon as people like come to this point. So ready or oh, break. Ready, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now I've got lots of concrete. I probably will finish that. And I'm going to wait for all of these residential areas to level up to the final one, level six. Uh, but assume everything's fine re resource-wise. I might just shove another layer around the sides. But I think for now, we're going to leave that there. Uh, lots of new stuff to play with next time. Like, ooh, a soil enrichment factory. And of course, the red science. But yeah, peace, love, and really uncircular circles. Bye!